In April 2019, I had my second child. In the same month, my husband had his third child. By child, I mean startup. <laughs> Me as a veteran parent, him as a serial entrepreneur. We were confident. We know everything, right? We even discussed a set of rules. Rule number one, he cannot mortgage the house or touch family fund without telling me. Rule number two, we need to have high quality family time with the kids at least once a week. And rule number three, we will have midterm review in year three. These rules sound right at the time, but not so right when one night it was thundering and the house went out power and I was alone. And then one of my boy woke up, started crying. When I finally calmed him down, the other woke up and cried. My husband, the entrepreneur, of course, was traveling for work. Were my rules too generous? I asked myself. This is why I burst out laughing as I heard the rules another spouse entrepreneur said for her husband. Her rules were even more generous. The entrepreneur only needed to be home one weekend a month and wouldn't get up before 4 a.m. But for both myself and my friend, we chose to tackle everything together with our entrepreneur spouse. It goes beyond what is success, what is joy, but also what is difficult and uncertain. The popular vision of entrepreneur is that of a wonder king, young, brash, and smart. What this depiction rarely includes is that of their spouse. Despite the fact that 70% of entrepreneurs are married when they launch their first business. 70%. So I kept wondering, what roles do spouses play? How do spouses contribute to the occurrence and endurance of startups? To find the answer to that question, I talked to my colleague, Professor Blake Mazias, who is an expert on entrepreneurship research, and we decided to find out. Together, we interviewed spouse entrepreneur pairs across the US in various industries, from software, healthcare, education, entertainment, cosmetic, agriculture, and so on. Putting all the interviews together, we have three key findings. First, we find that spouses, they play three critical venture-related roles. Therefore, an answer to the what question, what roles do spouses play in entrepreneurship? And two, we find that there are patterns of alignment between roles of spouses and the types of entrepreneurs. So therefore, an answer to the how question. How do spouses contribute to the occurrence and endurance of startups? And even more fascinating, we find a bonus finding, an answer to the why question. Why do some entrepreneurs and their spouses achieve this role alignment? Let's begin with the what question. What roles do spouses play in entrepreneurship? So we find that the first role is what we call spousal runway, not runway. <laughs> Although there are a lot of times you do want to run away, but runway. A combination of time and money needed for business to launch and survive. During our interviews, we heard a lot of stories about how the spouses take and keep a full-time job so that their spouse can do the startup. And one entrepreneur told us that the spouse covers all the bills, so in many ways, she is the VC, venture capital. But when spousal runway expires, the entrepreneur will make crucial decision, family or business. So the second role we find is what we call filling the void. Spouses, they help out by performing various tasks from IT support, beta tester, PowerPoint maker, accountant, hiring manager, and then the list goes on and on. 
They even play an advisory role in the area of their expertise. So this role provides additional free labor that alleviates the burden of limited resources of early stage venture. This role also augments the decision-making capabilities of entrepreneurs because they hear honest feedback and input from their better half. So one couple told us that for a period of time, they spend every night talk until one or two o'clock just about the business. Another couple told us that the entrepreneur is a gas and the spouse is a brick. And the entrepreneur appreciates so much when the spouse told him, this is ridiculous and you need to stop. <laughs> so the third role we find out that spouses play is combating loneliness, meaning conferring empathy and emotional support to the entrepreneur. The entrepreneurship journey could be a very lonely journey. In this role, spouses are individuals who entrepreneurs trust can openly express their worries and success. During our interview, we heard many mention the importance of the spouse getting it, showing support, confidence, and cheerleading, and embracing the continuing chaos startup life. This role keeps the resiliency of entrepreneur. So, affording spousal runway, feeling the void, and combating loneliness, three roles that spouses play in entrepreneurship. Now let's move to the how. How do spouses of entrepreneurs contribute to this uh, occurrence and endurance of startups? So we find there are patterns of alignment between roles of spouses and types of entrepreneurs. Some entrepreneurs who enjoy creating new things or who we call those inventors. For example, a uh, um, programmer who enjoys building new apps or an entrepreneur who wants to improve gender equality by providing an online platform for caregivers. So for these inventors, the most important role their spouses play is affording spousal runway. Some entrepreneurs, they enjoy getting the business off the ground or who we call those founders. So for instance, medical product entrepreneur who enjoys launching four different products to the market, or a beauty brand entrepreneur who enjoys launch a lab in the US and build manufacturing and packaging in Asia. For those founder entrepreneurs, the most important role their spouses play is feeling the void. Some entrepreneurs just enjoy growing and expanding businesses, who we call those developers. For instance, a laser tag business owner who enjoys growing the business for two decades, or a dairy farm owner who want to grow the business so that her children would be proud to carry the business on. For these developer entrepreneurs, the most important role their spouse play is combating loneliness. So, three ways of alignment between roles of spouses and the types of entrepreneurs. Here comes to the more exciting part, the bonus finding, the question, the why question. Why some entrepreneurs and their spouses achieve alignment? Or is there a way to actually nurture this alignment? Our research shows that this alignment is achieved through two-way interaction, discussion, negotiation, and learning for both entrepreneurs and their spouses. For some, this is through appreciation of vicariousness, meaning the willingness of participation, the experience of another life, their life, an entrepreneur's life, a creative, inventive, and risk-taking life. Taking myself as example, as a professor, academic, I study problems and I take time to study problems. But entrepreneurs, they solve problems and they move fast. I look for statistical probabilities for similarities, but entrepreneurs, 
they look for distinctiveness and exceptions, many times risky exceptions. But for me, I really enjoy living vicariously the experience of entrepreneur's life. For others, this alignment is achieved through reciprocity, mutual dependence or favor exchanges. So when spouses provide support and help to entrepreneurs, entrepreneurs can reciprocate by conveying gratitude and respect. During our interviews, many entrepreneurs say that out loud to their spouses how they couldn't achieve this without the help and support of their spouses. And many entrepreneurs also highlighted how they have tremendous amount of respect of the opinions of their spouses. Meanwhile, many spouses also highlighted how they have learned a lot in the process, which ultimately helped their own career. For others, this can also be achieved through a sense of psychological ownership. This psychological ownership occurs because spouses also feel they are also owners of the venture or the entrepreneurship journey. During our interview, we heard a lot of mention, we, ours, together. For both entrepreneurs and their spouses, there is a shared sense that this journey is a shared journey. They choose to live this entrepreneurship lifestyle. So, the appreciation of vicariousness, reciprocity, and the sense of psychological ownership, three ways to achieve role alignment between entrepreneurs and their spouses. Now, it is December 2022. My baby boy and my husband's company both have passed infancy stage and now into toddlerhood. I'm also ready for this overdue midterm review and set up new rules. The rules might again be too generous, but this time knowing what, how, and why spouses can affect entrepreneurship, I can best leverage the generosity. After all, it's through role alignment that spouses can act as the oxygen that feeds the fire of entrepreneurship. Thank you so much.